The GK Quad Board is a one input, four output, Roland Guitar Synth Signal Distributor. Electronically, the Quad Board is essentially a clone of the long discontinued Roland GK P4. However, the Quad Board differs in several key areas from the GK P4. Most significantly, the Quad Board provides a dedicated volume control buffer for each synth. This means that the user can individually mute each output, much like a Roland US20 does. In addition, rather than using tiny micro switches in the style of the GKP4, the quad board uses internal jumpers to allow the user to configure, modify, or expand the quad board to meet their individual needs. To accommodate the high level of customization and provide real affordability, the quad board ships with mounting hardware, but no case. Jumpers are installed to send the same GK synth volume and GK S1 and S2 commands to every synth. One 16 position ribbon and six color coded conductors are included to jump start customization. The unit is fully tested and ready to go. While the original GKP4 used micro switches to turn GK S1 and S2 commands on and off, the quad board has eight jumpers in the GK switch bank. Two jumpers for each output, representing GK switch 1 and GK switch 2. To disable GK commands for any output, just remove the associated jumpers. You can also mix and match, for example, sending only GKS1 to the first synth output and GKS2 to the second synth output, or switch commands to synths 1 and 3, but not 2 and 4, etc. For the DIY do-it-yourself guitar player, you can easily add your own GKS1 and S2 switches. The quad board ships with a 16 position ribbon cable that can be installed in place of the GK S1 and S2 jumpers. In this example, the ribbon cable has been wired to four TRS tippering sleeve quarter inch jacks. With nothing plugged in, the same GK S1 S2 commands are sent to each synth output. Or you can plug in a Roland FS6 or similar foot switch to generate new independent GK S1 and S2 commands. Any simple on off foot switch will work. If you want to disable the GKS1 S2 commands from the guitar for any specific output, simply plug in a dummy TRS jack. Of course, these are just examples. Alternatively, you could wire in dedicated foot switches or push buttons as well. There are even more options for GK synth volume commands. The quad board provides access to the GK synth volume signal at two points, before and after the control voltage buffer amplifiers. Before the buffer amplifier, you can select from either GK synth volume sent from the guitar 
or the onboard regulated plus 5 volt supply. This plus 5 volt supply can be set to set any synth to maximum volume. This is the same design used in the GKP4. After the buffer amplifier, there are six open jumpers. These indicate two ground points and four mute points for each synth output. Connecting any of the synth mute pins to ground mutes the respective synth output. Here's an example of the quad box wired to individually mute synth outputs A, B, C, and D. After the mute pins, there are four more jumpers in place that allow the user to individually reroute the GK synth volume signal. These are designed so that a basic 10K control pod or a Roland EV5 can be inserted to control the volume of each synth individually. So you can mix and match volume control from the guitar or volume control from an EV5 pedal or an additional control pod. The plus 5 volt power supply is accessed by a dedicated pin in the power supply section of the board. The power supply section also includes drivers for up to four LEDs. By using a SPDT single pole double throw foot switch, you can easily wire up mute switches with LEDs for the quad board. These switches mimic the synth mute functions on the Roland US20. Go one step further and include four single pole double throw toggle switches for selecting between the guitar synth volume and the maximum 5 volt volume. Now you have a super hybrid Roland GKP4 US20 combining the best features of both products. All the hardware needed to mount the quad board is included. The quad board has been designed for durability and reliability. A close look at the Roland 13 pin connectors show metal flanges to mount the 13 pin connector against the case. The CUI 13 pin connectors do not have these flanges. So instead, there are six stainless steel right angle brackets installed on the quad board to make sure the quad board stays securely in place and to protect the circuit board. With up to five cables connected to the circuit board, the printed circuit board needs to be secure and there needs to be adequate room between the 13 pin connectors to easily plug and unplug the cables. The quad board is six inches wide, 1.75 inches deep, and approximately one and a quarter inches in height. 